Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the how to install liquid cooling system for CPU, prepare for boot up your PC performance. Before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. An AIO cooler. In terms of function, an AIO cooler works like any other cooler, removing heat from the CPU. Like air coolers, there are numerous AIO cooling alternatives. Since we'll be discussing closed-loop AIO coolers, we won't discuss custom loops, but they do the same thing and available in a range of sizes to suit various cases and demands. Like air cooling, it starts at the base plate. The base plate is attached to the processor's IHS, integrated heat spreader, by thermal paste. The base plate is the pump's bottom and is filled with coolant to remove heat from the two surfaces. The AIO's coolant, liquid, absorbs the heat from the CPU and circulates it to the radiator. Once the heat reaches the radiator, it operates similarly to air coolers by exposing it to outside air, which is typically aided by many fans. The coolant then loops back to the CPU block. Like air cooling, it starts at the base plate. The base plate is attached to the processor's IHS, integrated heat spreader, by thermal paste. The base plate is the pump's bottom and is filled with coolant to remove heat from the two surfaces. The AIO's coolant, liquid, absorbs the heat from the CPU and circulates it to the radiator. Once the heat reaches the radiator, it operates similarly to air coolers by exposing it to outside air, which is typically aided by many fans. The coolant then returns to the CPU block to repeat. What comes with an AIO cooler? Block slash pump, radiator, tubing, backplate, fans, radiator nuts, bolts, fan nuts, screws, XPG 240. Should you get a large AIO cooler? AIO coolers are less bulky, but you will need area for the radiator. Air coolers frequently occupy the region right above the CPU, causing clearance concerns for some RAM models. However, liquid coolers feature low-profile pumps, thus a full closed loop can fit in most PC cases. Let's look at the various AIO cooler sizes available. The picture above is meant to give you a rough idea of the sizes. In general, the individual fan sizes range from 120-140mm. Check the case requirements in your handbook or on the manufacturer's website to ensure an AIO will fit. Manufacturers list front, top, rear, and sometimes side radiator support. However, there may be a few uncommon examples with smaller form factors, so do a little more research and guarantee the AIO you want will 100% fit into your selected case. Ideally, you want a 240mm plus AIO cooler. Compared to the smaller 120-140mm choices, you receive better temperature performance. It is evident that 360-420mm coolers outperform 120-140mm coolers, however the difference is less than the 120-140mm models. So, if they operate equally, the choice comes down to fit, beauty, and in some cases, brand matching other RGB lighting components. Do AIO coolers last long? An AIO cooler can survive between 5 and 8 years with normal use. Normally, the tubing is the most problematic part of the pump. Tubing might deteriorate over time, enabling precious coolant to drain slowly, leaving you with an inefficient cooler. There is no way to maintain AIO coolers yourself, unlike air coolers, which only require occasional dusting. AIOs rarely leak, otherwise no one would buy them, but occasionally a product can malfunction. How to install AIO CPU liquid cooling, step by step. Preparation is minimal whether you are building a new PC or upgrading an existing cooler. Finally, you'll need to remove the case's side panels to reach the radiator. Most AIO coolers come with pre-applied thermal paste that works well, but you may clean it off and replace it with your own, if you have some. If you don't have thermal paste, don't panic. You'll need it when this dries out. Let's install liquid cooling with a screwdriver. Glue the back plate. This is the first step if you are installing an AIO cooler while building a new PC. This step is less important if you are replacing an older cooler. Most cases feature a cutout at the back for this, so you don't have to remove your motherboard to attach the backplate. If you're swapping coolers and there's no gap to install your backplate, remove your motherboard and follow the steps below. 
A majority of non-stock coolers come with backplates for both AMD and Intel chipsets, making them globally compatible. Consult your manual if unsure however backplates are generally indicated. Intel boards rarely include a backplate, although AMD motherboards frequently do. Intel backplate installation, set backplate screw holes so they fit through the board's holes around CPU socket and lock in place. Retaining backplate, use support screws to hold the backplate in place until you're ready to screw the pump in. Putting the backplate on, it is not required for most AMD builders, but if your handbook says to replace the bracket clips around the CPU socket, do so now. Retaining backplate, screw your support screws slash standoff screws into the four screw holes of the backplate, thereby replacing the prior brackets. Builders for AMD may be able to bypass this. Set up the fans, next, we'll mount the fans on the radiator. Your AIO kit will include lengthy screws designated as fan screws that are the only ones that reach the radiator through the fan. Installing fans first is much easier than trying to screw fans into an installed radiator. Orient fans right, orient your fans to pump air through the radiator, there is a small arrow on fans to show you the direction of airflow. For a cleaner installation, make sure your fans are towards the back of the radiator, side facing your case's back panel. Keep the fans, screw in a crisscross design. Assemble a roddy, installing the radiator is a difficult task for many. You've already chosen your rad's location, so just make sure you've removed any additional case panel slash brackets before further. Cable layout and amp, sort, while aligning and holding the radiator in place, make sure the screw holes match up with the rivet slash cutouts on the case. Install the washers on the screws before installing the radiator. Radiator safety. Once one or two screws are in place and the radiator can support the weight of the cooler, remove your hands. Radiator safety. If the tubing touches the back case fan, you can slide slash reposition the cooler slightly. Once the cooler is in place, tighten the screws. Set up the pump. To install the pump on some coolers, we must first attach the correct retention bracket around the pump. Consult your handbook for details, but most modern cooler pump brackets simply slide off. Intel pump up, placing the pump bracket holes over the support screws and slotting them in place. Intel pumps are usually screwed into place directly over the CPU socket, however AMD pumps may come with clips that need to be pushed into place before tightening. Pump safety. Tighten the thumb screws by hand. Tighten in a crisscross pattern with a screwdriver. To make this stage of the installation easier, screw in a crisscross pattern. AMD clips, then loosely attach the clips to the pump's brackets on either side, we can tighten these up once in place. Pump setup, place the pump on top of the CPU, lining up the clips with the motherboard brackets. AMD pump safety, tighten the thumb screws gradually to secure the pump to make this stage of the installation easier, screw in a crisscross pattern. Sorting the cables. Now connect the CPU fan cord to the header. If unsure, see your handbook. Extra cables like SATA power, micro USB, and fan headers should be fed through the cases back for cable management. Join cables, connect fan wires to fan headers, RGB connectors to daisy chain, and SATA power to your PSU. Begin, now it's time to turn on the system and verify your wiring. If your RGB lighting is out, check to see if your fans start spinning or listen for a tiny hum from your pump. Once booted, always download the software for your AIO. Check your system's temps with the manufacturer's software or a third-party program to ensure nothing is overheating and everything is working properly. Conclusion So that's our instructions for installing liquid cooling on your PC. Now that your new AIO CPU cooler is fitted, you may enjoy a chilled CPU. Sure, they don't cool as much as the greatest air coolers, but they provide a certain style to your design. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.